double no. I don't know what that means. It might be some new Ute slang. I don't know. I'm unaware of the the the, the factual nature of what double knot really means. Uh, but Stray Kids have a new song. Indeed, it's called Double Knot. It came out like a week and a half ago. Uh, two weeks ago, maybe. I didn't react to it then because I wanted to save it. And then I got ill. And I, I didn't want to react to, to K-pop MVs when I'm ill. Because I really do love the stuff generally. And if you have a negative first experience with the song, then it, it sort of feeds through and bleeds through to your overall experience with it so i wanted to see it first time in a positive way where i can give everything to it so let's get to this anyway always always on point the lads never let me down never not like the song of theirs it's almost unheard of you know even as i said with bts there's like for you and just one day which in retrospect now i love those songs but at the time of listening all right <laughs> i acknowledge <laughs> um that they're sort of infamous among the BTS community, uh, the army at least. I mean, for me, I do love them now as well. And I'm sure most people do. But these guys, none of their songs have hit me in a, in a questionable way. I've loved all of them. So let's get to this. Let's go. Are there, are there subs? Oh, two moons. That's a bit Star Wars-y. Wow, that was. I do. I. I like that a lot. That transition. Alright, where's this drop? What is it gonna sound like? Not what I was expecting. Stray Kids. Second Stray Kids, yeah? Choreo, the choreo was sick. Really, really good. I'm surprised actually that they bring the choreo every time and it just, it it makes me think they're probably some of the best dancers in K-pop. Uh, the song itself I liked. I think that the, the hook and the, uh, the beat drop for me it wasn't what I was expecting 
and I don't think it really did what I wanted it to do. Obviously, they're the ones who create created it. Um, but I think that the the beat drop could have been a bit less eccentric and maybe flowed a bit a bit more. I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess everyone has a different opinion, as I do say. Some people's opinions are wrong. Maybe I'm wrong in this case, but uh, I didn't love the beat drop. I liked the song. The MV as well, there were notes to it which were really cool, but oddly enough, I think that it, w it, felt, it felt a bit samey, you know, with the other MVs, because they really, really do make good MVs, even their low-budget MVs, uh, which is them basically just vlogging and taking the piss, are fun and cute and engaging and interesting. This just felt a bit, you know, by the by. There are aspects of it, like the two moons and then the stuff with the keys, which were unique. But, like, the uh, stuff with them dancing in, like, a, a car park or a wasteland or wherever it was, it felt a bit used for them. Uh, which, for me, obviously you can't be new and innovative every single video. Uh, but in that case... You know, there are, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just saying that the song was good, the drop I think could have been better, and the music video had aspects that I really liked. I'll be honest, which is what I am, people hate me for it sometimes, I think this is my least favourite Stray Kids song. MV. Well, it's, it's definitely my least favourite MV. Definitely my least favourite MV. Because I've loved all of their MVs other than this. Like, absolutely, like, Head Over Hills. They are they smash it every time. The choreo was sick, but I think that the song itself was a bit in between for me. Like it's there, I'll listen to it, and I'll and I'll, and I'll enjoy it at the gym. But I think the MV overall didn't really pull me in as much as I hoped it would. Um, I think this is going to be one of those where on the fourth and fifth listening, like the drop is just going to smack me around the face when I'm editing and be like, I actually like it, but. For now, I'm going to have to go with that, which is the choreo is sick. The MV was decent, and there were aspects that were really good. The song was good, but the beat drop just didn't hit me. It didn't hit me. It's not what I thought it was going to be. I may have said it in the video while I was listening to it. I, um, I don't know. So maybe I probably would have said something. That was That's not what I expected, or that's not what I thought it would be. Hey, they hit me out of left field, all right? It's not what I, I thought it would be. Uh, again, though, with this, Stray Kids are so unique in themselves that I know this is a Stray Kids song, and I know it's a Stray Kids MV. It has that tangible feeling of it. It has that familiarness to it. And I think they've been able to differentiate all of their songs previously and MVs previously, but I think this one felt a bit like it was a... Uh, there was... It felt a bit... Like, they didn't know what to do with it, so they did this. Whereas the others, I feel, had a very clear sense of direction. And apart from the parts with the keys in this, and the parts with the moons, and certain aspects, I think that the general feeling was just... I don't know. We don't, we don't know the direction of this video. Um, that's the vibe I got off of it. Obviously, I... You know, that's my aim. I'm, you know, I'm an actor. I want to, you know, be a filmmaker in some aspect. Um... That's what I got from it. That's how I felt this was. I will say the transitions between some of the members was really, really cool walking down the street. Very, very well done. Something like that, people can really screw that up in an instant and they, they did that really well. Also, just some of the lads have such deep voices, but they look like bloody, like, <laughs> like butterflies. Like they look like they couldn't hurt a butterfly. And then it's just like, wow, you're, you, you, your voice is genuinely like some, some mad ass Thanos deep voice. Uh, mad shit. Decent, not the best. Maybe not the worst. I don't know, but I still liked it. And this is the mad thing. I, I think I have such high standards for them, and the stuff they've produced so far that this is just I'm indifferent to this in a way. Still going to be listening to <laughs> to the at the gym. Again, people are just saying to me, wait, you were seeing Japanese last time, so is this Japanese? And no, it's Korean this time. We're back to Korean. Like, Can you just pick one? Can you either sing in Japanese or Korean? Damn. 
I do both. And then there's also English occasionally, which I might listen to. But generally it's like older music. I won't listen to like current stuff at the gym. I listen to like random old shit that comes up on my playlist. Anyway, guys, enough of me. If you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then you'll get tied in a double knot, all right? That's some mad shit. That's some, uh, that's some shit they do in, uh, in that thing. American Boy Scouts. They do that. You don't want that. You really don't. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. And I've been Narendra the Comic. You have been Grant. I'll see you next time. Skadoosh.